Hi guys, Tyler here from Regency Cigar. Uh, so a lot of you have been liking my common lighter problems and how to fix them. So I figured I'd do something a little more in depth of with taking apart a lighter. So I have a couple customers lighters here that uh, just need to be troubleshooted. So this is the first one. Uh, one of my customers brought this in, said it's not working. So I first take a look at it, listen to it. No gas is coming out of it. Um, the head of the the jets is kind of dirty versus something like this there's a little bit of black on them so that'll be one of my first things but what i'll do i'll check if it even has butane in it that's kind of one of the biggest things so it's got butane but there's no butane coming out of it so first i'll try just turning up the butane which that's all the way turned up so all the way turned up still no butane coming out of it so what we'll do from here is take this apart. Oh, actually, first test to see if the pin in it's stuck. Turn it all the way down, turn it all the way back up. Still no butane coming out of it. So bleed this completely just in case you put crappy butane in it. Bleeding with the screwdriver. Don't use a toothpick or anything. Uh, I just had a customer actually use a toothpick and he got the toothpick broken off inside the, the piece that fills the lighter. So uh, taking apart lighters is usually only one screw that kind of holds it all together. So this is a Calibri. So there's one screw on the bottom here underneath the bunch. Take that out, and then this usually, the whole casing slides right off the lighter. Careful when you slide that off. Um, in these, there's pins that go across, so this one has one, two, three. Some of them are a lot more complicated than this, and sometimes the pins slide off. So just pull everything apart really slow, and if something falls out, you can kind of tell where it comes from. So we'll keep everything organized here. So what we have now in the bottom of this, you have this elastic band that comes around. What we'll do is remove that elastic band. That holds uh, the little piece on that stops the lighter from getting turned up too far. But sometimes the lighter, it just stops working at that adjustment and you need to be able to turn it up farther. I can't explain that, but. So if you can get a view of that piece, so I lifted up that metal piece a little bit so I can turn this all the way around. So this fit on the letter like this. So plus, actually take that off completely. Yeah, if you can see that it's star shaped so it fits right around the end and locks it in. So we'll turn the lighter all the way down, turn it back up again. Still no butane coming out of it. Turn it up more, still none, turn it up more, still none. Now careful, with a situation like this, careful, don't over turn it up because this whole piece will blow out of the lighter. You unscrew it so there's no threads left to hold it and all the pressure inside will blow this whole end off. I've done it before and uh, it's kind of scary. And also don't smoke a cigar while you're doing this because if that happens, you could blow yourself up. So this lighter, the pin, there's like a pin that travels back and forth inside here that when you depress the button, it lifts a piece and allows the butane to come out. That pin is stuck. So we'll turn it up and down a few times, try to loosen it. Still nothing. When I get to this point, uh, I haven't tried to go on farther with taking this piece out and checking the pin, but that's what I would do to troubleshoot something like this. Uh, let's see, let's go on to our next slider. Put this back together so the case slides right on. Uh, 
depending whose lighter it is, I usually put the safety piece back on just in case so guys won't back it off too far or turn it up too far. If it's your own lighter, you don't need to put that back on. Just be kind of aware of where that is and how far you're turning up your lighter. And save this little rubber piece because that holds it from holds that piece from coming up too far. Screw the screw back in. Uh, don't tighten it. You don't need to sock it down crazy. You are screwing into plastic. You don't want to strip it. Just lightly tighten it. And we got it all back together. This is another lighter we have that I had come in from a customer. Um, you can tell he's got some use out of it. it. Used to be black. He's worn off all the finish. So he says it's not working. So I check. We've got spark. This one you can hear the gas coming out of it. Oh, the heads of this lighter are really dirty. So I'm guessing that's my issue. So I'll first check it off my lighter. I'll try to light it. So here you can see one jet's completely clogged. One's working pretty good. That's a uh, that's enough of uh, that's enough dirt right there to get it so it won't work. It messes up the airflow in the lighter. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and clean the jets, uh, and we'll bleed it out at the same time. So I'll drain some of the excess butane out of it. And um, I use this stuff called Neverdull. It's for polishing stuff and also cleans well. It's magic wadding polish. It does a nice job of cleaning any dirt or nicotine that comes on the head of the lighter. So I put it on the end of a Q-tip. And I always rub spin towards the butane igniter so I don't get it all hooked on it and I'm just kind of polish the head of the jet just like that and you can see it's dirty so I, I think you guys can see the contrast that clean one versus the dirty one the dirty ones on the bottom here and I'll clean that one spinning in the reverse direction so I don't get hooked on the the little igniter piece that sticks out. Take care, you guys. One of my customers saying bye. So we got that cleaned out. I'll actually take the butane and I'll try to blow any junk out of the lighter. You can use compressed air just blow up by blowing into the lighter too. And we'll fill this. Let it warm up for a second. So, still not quite lighting. You can hear the gas hissing out of it pretty good. The gas does stop hissing once the lighter shuts. So it's not turned up crazy far, but it still could be turned up a little too far. So now I'll check it with my lighter, make sure I cleaned out that jet completely. So that jet is still clogged. So I'll get a better look here. Blow it out again. So we still have a clogged jet on it, let's see. We'll try to blow it out again. Just make sure this piece isn't hot still. I only had it lit for a second, so I'm not too worried. <laughs> if you're using compressed air to or dust remover for like a keyboard or computer, uh, just be careful. This stuff is flammable. So this lighter is still cold to the touch, so I'll let it warm up for a sec. That's probably from the squirt of butane I sent right down the heads. Oh, so we're almost there. 
you guys can see the flame. Uh, that one on the end's a little choppy still, so it's not quite clean yet. I'll let it run for a sec, maybe it'll cook off whatever's in there. Actually, we'll try the lighter turned up a little bit more. And when I'm doing it, when I'm checking the lighter like this and lighting it a few times, I'm checking to make sure it's got a consistent spark down onto the head of the lighter. Uh, so occasionally it'll arc back every once in a while, so you just know you need to adjust this, adjust the little metal piece down slightly. So this, we're pretty good. So I can give him a call. So sometimes with the lighter, a common problem is when you go to light it, it'll puff butane for a second. It'll light it and then it'll go out. So if you bring in a working lighter and you try to light it, that right there, that just means you're not turned up enough. So a lot of times, simple fix, turn up your lighter. Sometimes what'll happen, you can't turn up your lighter enough to get it to run. So you'll take it apart or you'll need to take it apart to adjust it so you can turn it up farther. Uh, most lighters have a little fail safe, so you can't turn it up too far. So this is a Zycar Trezo. So to turn up this lighter, first we have to do is remove the adjustment knob. This one actually screws on. Some of these don't always screw on, you can just pull them off. So this I have to loosen the screw slightly. So if I have a small enough screwdriver. Okay, so I loosened it slightly. So now I can pop that piece off. Under there, it, uh, it reveals your screws to take apart the lighter. So the Zycar Trezzo, this has two in it. Screwdriver together. So I'll line up all my things. And that little screw you don't have to take out all the way. Just a little bit, just so it uh releases off the adjustment knob. Um sometimes when you take it off, the adjustment knob actually has a stopper built into it, but there's nothing under here to uh, stop the knob from spinning, so I know it's farther in the lighter. So I'll pull these screws. Um, keep note of what side the screws come out of because sometimes they are different lengths. So we'll check these real quick. See one is slightly longer than the other. So I'll lay out everything nice and neat so I know which way it goes. And we have that off so now uh, traditionally, everything the case slides off the lighter, so I'll push up by this piece, pops it loose. So slide off, slide this out slowly. So some dust in it. So you, I always slide it off slowly. Cause see these pins? These pins are already sliding out a bit. So you don't want to open it and lose all the bins. So now we get to the inside. So inside this lighter around the knob around the piece that the knob goes on, there's a little brass piece that stops it from sliding too far side to side. It bottoms it out. So if your lighter if you can't turn your lighter up high enough, you need to remove that little brass piece. So you'll do that by first removing this little elastic which is there just to hold the brass piece all the way down to the bottom so you, it won't slide up and you're able to turn your lighter up too far because if you turn your lighter up too far too this piece will come out and it'll release all the gas and it can be quite a noise sometimes especially if you've taken your lighter apart and you're loosening and you're turning it up too far so then i'll take a small screwdriver well first let's go the easy route can we tap it loose almost worked and then just slide it down so 
So since this is my own lighter, I'll just take this piece right out. I don't really need it. I know better not to turn it up too far. And then now, we can go up as high as we want, which if you go too high, let's see what we'll do it. Sometimes if you go too high, it starts to sputter. That's just basically liquid butane coming out of the lighter. So don't have it that high. And then you know your lighter's too high if you have it lit. And when you let go, the gas still stays lit. So right there, see that lag time? Your lighter's just way too high. So turn it down, still too high. Turn it down a little more, still a little too high. When you let off, the gas should turn off right away. Other than that, you're really burning more butane what you need and sometimes when it's up too high and you'll shut the top real quick it'll still stay lit under there and you can burn your hand so now we have it adjusted to a good height not too high not too low and i'll put the lighter back together so don't forget watch all the pins we'll slide this right back in give it a little wiggle there we're a little crooked on the bottom there we go and now our two screws are going back in so I'm assembling lighter this way so the small screw is gonna go on my right put your knob on and then don't forget to tighten that screw then check it once more and now I can adjust it oh knobs not on tight yet now I can adjust it however far I want So another troubleshoot, so this lighter, it's got gas, you can hear it. I look for spark, and you can just see the spark, but it still won't light. So what I'll do, I'll check to see if it's running right. Try to light it off another lighter. All the heads are clean. The flame's perfect shape, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'll analyze it a little closer. Oh, it lit once. So what, the, what this case is, uh, the sparking piece is probably too close to the jet of the lighter. You need a, a longer spark and a little bit more time to get the, the butane to light. So you can take anything that you can get underneath it, pry it up a little bit, and we'll try a little different setting. So that just took a little bit. And then just make sure you don't go too far some are just up too high, so if I bring this up too high, still works. This one's not as temperamental as some. Some are really temperamental. You have to be just on the right spot. So now I'm too high. I'm arcing off the, the top of the lighter. It's arcing off the back. So I'll bring this down a little bit. And I'm good to go.